Hello, my third grade friends. This is Mrs. Smith here. Welcome back. Uh, today we are doing Unit 1, Lesson 2, which is on page 7 of your book. Uh, today we are talking about equal groups and how equal groups lends itself so nicely to repeated addition, but also multiplication. Later, we're going to talk about making equal shares drawings, which is like the backwards version of equal groups. And you'll soon see how that lines up so nicely with division, which is the opposite operation of multiplication. So just how in the same way you can use subtraction to undo addition, you can use division to undo multiplication or flip and flop those, you know, have uh, whatever I said backward. Okay, so here we go. It says... You can use multiplication to find the total when you have equal groups. And here we have pictures. Later, we're going to do word problems. A lot of the word problems that we have this year are going to be in this equal groups style. So feel free to come back to this video if you're getting confused. Okay, so here you have two nests, each with five eggs. So you could do five plus five is ten, or you could have memorized your fact from yesterday. Two times five is ten. Okay, so the, a word problem that would go with this would be like, there are two nests in a tree. Each nest has five eggs. How many eggs are in the, both nests, right? And then you say ten. Ten eggs. Okay. Now we're looking at these bananas. This is three bananas, three bananas, three bananas, three bananas. We're going to write a multiplication equation to find that. So you could do addition, but that's not what we're doing. Over here, we're going to do... How many threes do we have? One, two, three, four. So three times four, and then we're gonna find the answer, and you could just count them. When you're doing a word problem on your own, it's super helpful to draw that picture, so then you can just count those items, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Three times four equals 12 bananas. How many toes? So here we have 10 toes, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, you have 10 toes, 10 toes, 10 toes. How many times do we have 10? We have it one, two, three. So we could have 10 times three. You could count them or you could, let's count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 30 toes. Okay, here we go. We got wheels. So each of these bikes, part of the name bicycle, means two. So we have two. One, two, three, four, five. Two, five times. Two times five. And let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. All right, hopefully you're feeling pretty good about this so far. Let's turn that page and look at the back. So just like I said, we're going to make some math drawings for each of these problems, labeling the drawing with a multiplication equation, and then write the answer to solve the problem. Sandra bought four bags of lemons. There were six lemons in each bag. How many lemons did she buy in all? So, um, the pictures, just to save yourself a lot of time, like even though I can draw a nice lemon, it's so beautiful, so you have some shading, right? You could draw a nice lemon, but that's gonna take forever if you're drawing a bunch of lemons, right? So what we're gonna do instead is have a simple drawing. We're gonna have four bags, And then we're going to have six in each. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Now you might already have four times six memorized. But if you haven't, what can you do? You can count it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24. 
four lemons. And that equals four times six. And remember, with an equal sign, it's not like the answer always has to be on this side. Sometimes the expression is on this side. Sometimes an expression is on both sides. It's just that they are the same on either side. They're worth the same amount. All right, number five. Bataille baked two pies, two peach pies. He used seven peaches per pie. Per is a word that means in each one. So in these two pies, he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is two times seven, and that equals, well, there's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 peaches. Okay, he looks a little funny. There you go. The Fuzzy Friends Pet Store has three rabbit cages. There are five rabbits in each cage. So that word each cage is just like that word pie or per. <laughs> and that means that um, in each, like in each cage, there are the same number in each of them. That's an, another hint that you're doing an equal groups kind of problem, having the word each or having the word per. That's helpful. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen. Three times five equals fifteen rabbits. Okay, the Paw Plus Pet Store has five rabbit cages. There are three rabbits in every cage. So just like each cage, you could say every cage. Either way, it's an equal groups kind of problem, most likely. Sometimes they'll throw it in there just to mess with you a little bit. How many rabbits does the store have in all? So here we have one, two, three, four, five cages in each one. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We still have fifteen rabbits. They're just organized in a different way at the Pop Plus Pet Store. So fifteen rabbits equals. Now we're going to write five times three. And this is an example of the commutative property, which we will come back to. So if you're like commutative, what? Don't worry, but the commutative property just means it doesn't matter which order your factors are in when you're multiplying, the product will be the same. So three times five is 15 and five times three is 15. This is really helpful because it basically cuts the number of math facts that you need to multiply in half because you can just remember you just flip them around and it's the same answer. You don't have to like remember a distinct different product. Flip on over, here we are on page nine. Now we're talking about equal shares. It's just the backwards form of it. So this would be like saying for this problem, the Paws Plus Pet Store has 15 rabbits with the same number of rabbits in the five cages, how many rabbits are in each cage. And then you would do uh, the backwards version, which would be 15 divided by five which equals three, or five times what equals 15. Just like how you could do that with addition and subtraction. Here we go. Here's a problem with repeated groups. Repeat, or sorry, read the problem and think about how you would solve it. Mrs. Thomas, or sorry, Ms. Thomas bought four bags of oranges. Each bag contained five oranges. How many oranges did she buy in all? You could do an equal shares drawing. Um, so here, I mean, I guess it's prepping us for doing what we're talking about. Here we have uh, equal shares. 
So she's got her five, four times five is a number, and then you add them all up, five, four times is 20. So here we go, make an equal shares drawing to solve the problem. Ms. Gonzalez bought six boxes of pencils. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. In each, there were five pencils in each box. Four, five. How many pencils did she buy in all? So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 pencils. I'm sorry guys, I got a little bit ahead of myself. Um, you do use this. Uh, so for example, if someone said there are 30 pencils and you have six boxes, how many boxes are in each pencil? You could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and then see how many pencils are in each, and there are five in each. So you use this also for division, but we're not there yet. I think that's actually on the fourth lesson. All right, anyways, Mr. Franken made lunch for his nine nieces and nephews. He put five carrot sticks on each of their plates. How many carrot sticks did he use in all? So, one, two, how many plates? Nine plates. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then five, 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 five. Five, five, five. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. Forty-five carrot sticks. Okay. And this one was equal to six times five, and this one was equal to nine times five. All right, flip to the back, here we go. Uh, practice with equal groups, complete the function table. So these are called function tables. And on the um, left-hand side, we have the number of something like objects. And each of these objects has a certain number of things on them. Like this is tricycles and number of wheels. And we are looking for a pattern. Um, and we're basically counting on, sort of. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one. In one tricycle, there are three wheels. One, two, three. In two tricycles, that would be three plus three, which is six. In three tricycles, that would be three plus three plus three, or six plus three, which is nine. In four tricycles, there would be three plus one more, so nine plus three is 12. And in five tricycles, it would be one more group of three on top of the 12, so that would be 15. All right, if you're feeling comfortable, you can try this one on your own, and then uh, hit play to see what I did. Here we have rabbits, so that's the whole thing, but number of ears. So on one rabbit, there are two ears, one, two. And two rabbits, it would be two plus two, so that would be four, or two times two, really. Three rabbits, three times two, six. Four rabbits, four times two, four twice, right, four plus four, eight. Five rabbits, five times two, five twice, five plus five, ten. Okay, number 12. A car has three, four wheels, so one car has four wheels, two cars, that's four, two times, so, or, yes, four, two times, which is eight, three cars, add one more group of four to the eight, or have three times four, 12, four cars, four times four, so adding one more four to 12, 
16, five cars, four plus the 16 is 20. All right, now we're talking about spiders and their legs. So these spiders each have eight. So one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One spider has eight legs. Two spiders, what's eight plus eight? And if you're ever unsure, you could write it out. You could draw a picture, you could count on. You could go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. Now count on from 16, add eight more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Four spiders, so 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Four times eight is 32. Five spiders. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Five times eight is 40. Now, as you continue practicing this, you'll notice that the numbers, like with the same set of factors, the product will be what it was yesterday, the day before, the day before that, and you'll start to become fluent in your math facts, and you wanna keep practicing to build that fluency. It's really, really, really important. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Check and see if you have an assignment, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.